In this video, we're going to look at using templates. A template is a document that you can create, that you can use over and over again from its scratch or blank state. The reason why is this. I've created a document here, it's a time card document, and I've filled it in with some basic information. The employee's name, the number of hours that have been worked, over time, rate per hour, and it calculates for us how much money this employee should be receiving. Now what quite often happens is that this document is then saved. So the user will do file save as, save it as time card, I'm just going to put it on my desktop to make it nice and easy to use, and then save. Oh, did you see what happened there? It popped up and said, the document already exists. Do you want to overwrite it? And I said yes. I'm just going to close this down now to the desktop. And there's the document that we created. So if I want to do a time card for another employee, I can open this document, double click. And there's the document. But you can see it's already filled in. So what I then need to do is go and modify this for the new user's details. And once you've made the modifications, then the tendency is to save it again. So you see what's happening there? We're saving the document, but every time I'm having to overwrite the details. Using a template means that you don't have to have that problem. With a template, we can access the template from the Office button, and then do new. And this brings up a list of all the templates on our system. I'll come back to how we use this, but we can see there the time card template. If I select that now and then create, I've got a new document, a blank document, that I can fill in for Ron Taylor. I can then fill in all the details. Now, when I try to save this, Excel forces me. To give it a new name. I can't overwrite the original. So again I'll put it on the desktop. Just call this Ron and save. Now when I want to create a time card for the next person, I can click the office button, new, select the time card template and create and there's a blank document waiting for me to fill it in. So I can't overwrite Ron's details. So that was why we should use detail, uh, templates. Let's just have a little look at using them in a little bit more detail. So to use a template, we use the Office button, down to New, and it brings up the New Workbook dialog box. At the top, we've got Blank and Recent, and there's the document that you will have used loads of times, a new blank document. document. It's actually based on a blank template. So it is a template in its own right. Going down this left hand side, we've got installed templates. They are the templates that came free with Excel when you installed it on your computer. There's expense reports, time cards, sales reports. You can use those at any time simply by selecting the template here and then click on create. And you're now using that template. Let's have a look at what else there is there. Install templates is what we've just looked at. We've then got my templates. If you create your own template, or if we download templates from another location, they go into this folder, the my templates folder. And we'll look at creating something and putting it in there in a minute or two. We've also got these featured ones. We can go onto the Microsoft website, and there's a whole load of templates there for you to use. You simply select the one that you're interested in, click on download, and there's the template ready to use. This actually puts it in the My Templates folder. So this document's called, it's hard to see, DS Inventory List TP731. So if I do the New Office button now, we can see in My Templates, there's that inventory list. 
So it's downloaded that template and put it onto your computer for you to use over and over again. So let's have a look at how to create your own template. Once you've created your document on the screen in its blank form, you put on as much text as you would not need to change and just leave the blanks. And then we do Office button, Save As. What we can then choose is save as a Excel template or an Excel template that's got macros enabled if you're using macros. I'm just going to leave it as an Excel template. Now just watch what happens. I'll just click away a second. I'm currently going to be saving this on the desktop. As soon as I change this save as type to a template, the location changes into the Microsoft folder, the templates folder. So when I call this time card for Halo ICT training and then click on save, it's going to put it in this templates folder. Now the benefit of that will be seen in a few seconds. Click on save. Now to use that, I don't want to use this straight away because that's just an ordinary document. What I have to do now to use the template is to select the office button, new, in uh, templates on my computers, it's the my templates folder and there is the time card template that I just created. So to use that template, I can click on OK. There's a template to use. Fill in the details. And then when I click to save the document, I can't save over the template. It's forcing me to create a new document. I'll put this on the desktop for easy use. And then save. To create the document for the next person, I then do the template again. File New, My Templates, Time Card, and OK. And that creates a new template ready for us to use. Now I said about saving the template, the document as a template. Save as, change that to a template. And it puts it in the templates folder. You don't have to. You can save this anywhere. If I put it on the desktop, just to show what happens, it's fine, I'm putting that on the desktop, click on Save. Now, because I put that on the desktop, it doesn't appear when I did File, New, it won't appear in the My Templates folder. It doesn't appear there. So to use it, we've got to use a different method. So we can see there the template that I saved onto the desktop. We know it's a template because it has this orange bar running across the top. To use that template, simply double click it and it opens Excel with your document as a template. If you need to make changes to your template, then you can't access it by doing new because Because when you make those changes, there's the time card one, and OK. If you want to make changes to this blank template, for example, we can call that Halo time card. That won't appear on the template next time I use it, because when I save, it forces me to create a new document. So if you want to make changes to the base template, you've got to open the document not use the document. So we need to not use new but open to find where that template was saved. That allows us to select the document, the template, and open it. And this allows us to make a modification Now when we click on save, because we are modifying the template, it allows us to save it. Let's just see how that works. 
So there's the template that we modified. If I double click this now to use the template, you can see it's got the modification on there. I can fill in my details. And when I click on save, because it's a template, it's forcing me to create a new document. So that's templates used to uh, create a document that can be used over and over again. And to access them, we select the Office button, New, and then choose where the template is stored.